Kirk Fletcher here. So good for you to join me. I am doing my Patreon page. I'm doing a Patreon. I'm starting a Patreon because I feel like it's time for me to talk more about the blues, talk more about blues guitar and my experiences and different things like that within the blues feel. <laughs> it's sometimes up and sometimes down, but you know, I'm going to stick around for sure. <laughs> um, you know, in this uh, first uh, thing that I want to kind of share is, uh, you know, something I was thinking about on my blues walk, on my walk this morning, my blues walk. I was listening to blues on my blues walk, on my walk this morning. But, uh, you know, blues with the feeling, you know, I, I really think it's important for um, aspiring blues musicians, musicians in general, to really study the language. You know, if anything that you're going to do, whatever profession you're going to do, you it, nine times out of 10, you're going to need to do some research. You're going to need to do some, you need, you're going to need to study on that subject to be better at it. And I feel like blues is one of the things that you really need to take in and really absorb, you know, listening to as well as learning and lessons and things like that. You know, I think it's very important to know what the makeup of like B.B. King or T-Bone Walker or Robert Johnson or Skip James or these different people, you know, to really listen at the language because I feel that that's just as important as the notes you might play, is the feeling of the notes and that conviction that you'll have. And, you know, the beautiful thing about it is it's fun. You know, it's fun to listen at that music. You know, it's almost like reading a good novel or something like that. You kind of just peel back the layers and dissect the music, you know, and then you hopefully will add some of that to your playing and be influenced by that. And I think that's some of the main things that I want to talk about on my Patreon, you know, is digging deep into the language of blues, you know, and, and why certain things sound the way they do. Why are certain things exciting, you know, playing, you know, notes and climaxing a solo and constructing a solo and how a solo should read, a guitar solo should read, or any instrument really, how it should read like a story almost. You have a beginning, middle, and end, you know, things like that, you know. So I really feel that, you know, there's a lot, you know, left to be said and you know, and I really want to take the time and, you know, just give lessons and also get feedback from the people who um, subscribe to my Patreon channel and things like that. You know, because I get asked quite a bit about guitar lessons and things like that. And I would like to address a lot of the um, things that I get asked about, you know, sort of in general, you know, just talking about different things like solo and rhythm and things like that, you know. So I think it would be a lot of fun, you know. And also, you know, blues with the feeling, like I was saying before, you know, I mean, it's really important to me to study the language and never forget the language and constantly listen to it so you can just, you know, be one with it. And really, it starts to become second nature, and then you start to find your own voice inside that. And that's something that we really all need to be aware of in today's times moving forward with blues music, you know, even the next generation. There are some phenomenal younger players coming along that definitely have studied the music and are doing wonderful things. So it's really exciting. And I just want to, you know, be a part of that and be a part of the education as well as the playing and, you know, all of those things. So please join me, subscribe if you would like to hear more about blues guitar you know, in every part, every aspect, not just blues guitar, but the language of blues and, and from my perspective and, you know, the things that I've, you know, witnessed in the in the music and on the road and all those kind of things, you know. And I'll be doing like playlists. I'll be talking about, you know, just different influences and like people like T-Bone Walker and BB and going back, you know, digging back and peeling back those layers of different, you know, areas in blues and things like that. So 
definitely join me and this is going to be a lot of fun and we're going to have a good time and this is a new adventure for me and I thank you <laughs> very much. <laughs> Thank you.